All right, we're gonna be installing cruise control on my 2006 Dodge Ram ST. Didn't come with cruise control. I read online you can get the switches and plug and play. So we'll see. As you can see, blank plates and steering wheel. I've already disconnected. battery for actually about 30 minutes, maybe 40. I like to be extra careful. It is a bomb waiting to go off. Alright, so the back has 10 millimeter bolts. Two of them, one on top, one on bottom. You have to turn your wheel sideways to be able to access them back there. So, let's get that going. All right. All right. Got the airbag unscrewed with the two screws. Stand back. Now, we got brown and brown and black and black. Squibs. There it is. Airbag. There we got a... It's like a ground sensor or something. So we want to... Take out... These blanks, just regular Phillips. Now you're gonna slide up and out this way. And they've got the the uh, plugs in them. It's going to take two hands. Be right back. Alright, got those out. The plugs are already wired. Waiting for you. Uh, I got BWD plugs or uh, switches. Let's see part number. C CW1026 and CCW 1173. I had to special order one of them from the auto parts store. That was the uh, 1173. But, no big deal. Alright, I'm going to install these and I'll be back. Alright, got the switches installed. Plugs in. I'm just going to Finish screw them in. All right, that right there is the speed control servo found only on a 3.7 V6 Dodge Ram, third generation. Mine's a 2006. Uh, that is a vacuum servo, electrically controlled through the PCM vacuum line comes up, hooks right in here into this brake drum, vacuum drum. Here's a check valve for it. And there's a little section that's missing I have to get from the hardware store, about a six inch piece. And there's a T, this bottom part's going down to the uh, speed control servo. This is going up into the cavity where the uh, wiper motors are. I don't know if you can see down in there, but against the firewall down below there, there's a vacuum reservoir. <coughs> so that's where all that connects in. As soon as I get that little piece right there, connect between the check valve and 
that tea should be good to go. I will update you. Just as a side note, that vacuum control servo mounts right under the battery box. Three screws. Mopar screw was once, they want to charge you $8.54 for one screw, so I found my own that would fit. And then your wiring harness plugs into here. That's your vacuum hose going out. And uh, then your uh, linkage that goes to your throttle body. See there? This is your connection for the uh, speed control servo. That just kind of pops on. Then you can see way back behind that. Down in there. This is your connection. That, this section, this right here is your uh, cable for your throttle, comes from your gas pedal. And then right beside that, right under it, there's a little tab. You gotta press that tab, a screwdriver or something. Then this slides out of the way. And then your one behind here cable for your from your speed control servo is right behind it. It'll slide in that slot and then you slide your throttle cable right back into place. And that little tab will snap into place. It'll keep it all in there. It's all connected. That's easy to pop on. You don't have to take this connection, throttle connection off here. You just slide off the little connector back there and slide it all back together. And that's it. All right, here's the wheel with the switches in, and we're going to take it on a road test. Check it out. And the cruise button, cruise light came on. I've never had that before. I set it. And it is holding. Let's try the resume button. And the accelerate button. Alright, just sped up a couple of miles per hour. Five. I think each press is two and a half miles per hour increase. Try to decelerate. Press that twice. 